boys and girls. I hope you are doing well. We're going to do another kids' devotion just for you, but before we do, like always, I want you to sing along with me. We're going to sing a song that I wrote a few years ago. It's really easy to sing, and you should sing loud. It's called Praise God, okay? Here we go. Praise you, Lord, for you are good. Praise you, Lord, for you are good. Your faithful love endures. Your faithful love endures forever. Sing it again. Praise you, Lord, for you are good. Your faithful love. Your faithful love endures forever. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Good. Your faithful love endures forever. Praise God, praise God. I will praise you, God. Praise God, praise God. I will. Good job, guys. I know that you were singing along with me from wherever you were. I can almost hear you all the way where I am now. Can anybody tell me which season it is right now? It's not winter. It's not fall. It's not quite summer. So that's right. It must be spring. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love springtime. Right now, you will start to notice little flowers poking their heads up from the ground or trees starting to blossom with their beautiful leaves, and some of them even smell so amazing. And maybe, if you are really quiet, you will also start to hear the little chirps and tweets of birds singing. You know what I like to do first thing in the morning on a warm spring day? I like to open up my front door and sit on the steps outside and just listen to the happy tweets of birds singing in the trees. It makes my heart so happy. And you might be asking right now, why am I talking to you about spring today? What does that have to do with Jesus? Well, I am going to tell you, but first, I need to talk to you about something that's not so fun. And it's called worry. Do you guys know what worry is? When we have it, it is not fun at all. Worry is when we feel like something isn't going the way that we want it to. So our hearts start to beat a little bit faster or our minds start to think troubled thoughts. Maybe you've been worried before when you can't find your favorite toy. You can think to yourself, where did it go? Will I ever find it again? What if it's lost? What if it's broken? Or maybe you've been worried when you've seen dark gray clouds in the distance, or you've heard thunder, and you think to yourself, am I going to be okay? Am I going to be safe? Or maybe some of you 
just like so many grown-ups, have been worried when they've heard about something called the coronavirus or something called COVID-19. Or you can be worried when you see people with masks on their faces and they seem to be washing their hands all of the time. I know that can make me feel worried sometimes. I can worry to myself, am I going to have to stay inside forever? Will I ever be able to play in a park again? Am I ever going to be able to do fun things like I used to do? Guys, worry can weigh us down, can it? It can make our hearts beat fast and our minds think heavy thoughts. And sometimes worry can make us feel a little scared. But there is great news do you know that Jesus has taught us in the Bible all about worry? I'm going to read to you some of my favorite verses out of the book of Matthew, chapter 6. First, I want to read to you Matthew 6, verses 25 through 27. And this is Jesus talking to you and to me. Here's what he says. That is why I tell you, not to worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food or whether you have enough drinks or enough clothes to wear, isn't life more than food and your body so much more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns and your heavenly father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Can all of your worries add a single moment to your life? That's what Jesus said. Guys, God does not want us to worry about what we eat or what we drink or anything else like that because God tells us he will take care of us. Let's think about those birds that I was talking to you about in the morning when I listened to them. They don't worry about what they're going to eat at all, but every day when those birds wake up, they are going to find the food that they need or the insects that they need to eat. God does not let those birds go hungry. And since you and I are God's most precious treasure, then he's not gonna let us go hungry either. God takes care of you and of me. Worrying is not going to add any time to our lives, but it will only take away from the time that we can spend enjoying all the awesome things God gives us to enjoy. Let's keep reading out of Matthew chapter 6. These are the verses 28 through 30. And again, this is Jesus talking to you and to me. Jesus says this, and why worry about your clothing? Look at the flowers of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. Yet King Solomon in all of his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and gone, gone tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. That's what Jesus says. Boys and girls, let's think about this. God takes care of the flowers of the earth, just like he takes care of the birds. And each spring, the flowers grow and bloom and they don't have to do anything to make themselves bloom. They just do. God makes sure they get enough sunlight and enough rain. And he cares about them. And he takes care of them. But God cares so much more for you. And he will take care of you. We don't need to worry about the clothes that we wear because God's going to take care of things like our clothes. In fact, in Matthew chapter 6, it says this, Your heavenly Father knows all of your needs even before you ask Him. That 
is amazing. Even before we ask, somehow he knows. Now listen, boys and girls, I know that it is true that sometimes our minds can worry. And sometimes we can think too much about a problem instead of trusting in our good and strong and powerful God who loves us. God is so good. God is so strong. And he loves you. And he promises that he's going to take care of you. And he does not want you to worry. He knows exactly what you need even before you ask him. So that means that you can breathe in so deep and really enjoy your life. And when you look outside and you see the signs of God taking care of all of creation from tiny little flowers to flying birds, you can remember he is going to take care of you too. Thank Jesus that that is true. This week, boys and girls, I don't have a craft for you, but I do have a little bit of homework for you. When your mom or your dad or your trusted grown-up says to you that it's okay, I want you to go outside and I want you to notice around you all the flowers in the garden. Or I want you to look up in the trees and I want you to listen for the birds that are chirping up there so happy, singing their little hearts out. And notice the big branches that are beginning to blossom. And maybe if it's okay, you can pick a few flowers and you can put them in a jar or in a vase, somewhere where you can see them. And when you see them, remember that God takes care of even the small things. And you are so much more precious to God than those small things. And he will take care of you. Guys, thanks so much for watching. This week, don't worry. God will take care of you. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.